Well, good morning or good afternoon or good evening. I don't know when you're watching this, but welcome to Accounting 1303. I'm Jay Simpson and I'm your instructor for this course. And since we probably won't get to meet together this semester, I wanted to take a few minutes to just introduce myself, show you my face, so you can put a, a face with a voice that you'll hear all semester, and then walk you through our Blackboard course so you can know how to navigate and where I've put all of the really important information. So let's jump over to our Blackboard course. So when you log in, it's gonna look something like this. Now don't be alarmed if the colors change. I like to change the colors and the theme on whim. Um, so you'll notice there's a link here to the ICR or the syllabus. I'm going to do a separate video walking through the ICR and the syllabus so we'll come back to that as well. The office hours this semester since we're not going to be meeting in person and I won't be actually in my office we'll have office hours through Microsoft Teams. So every Monday through Thursday from 10 to 1230 I'll have my office hours. I'll be available. Now of course I'm available other hours as well so if those hours don't work for you, um, shoot me an email. We can always set up a Zoom call or a, a Teams meeting on another time that's more convenient for you. This is a link to join Teams. It's, Teams is a program similar to Zoom where we can look through, um, talk about information together. I have the statement of class policy. This is also repeated in the ICR, but basically I expect you to treat everyone with respect, whether it's in a discussion board, a DM, a Teams meeting, an email, just be respectful of everyone. I will send a lot of announcements throughout the semester. In fact, announcements is the primary way that I will communicate with you. Announcements will also be sent through email, so make sure you are checking your MyTCC email every day. Ideally, um, you want to be checking that. If that's not an email address that you check regularly, then forward it to an email address that you do check regularly. But I do send a lot of information that way. The orientation quiz you'll come in and take after you've watched all three of the orientation videos. There are um, multiple questions in there about just to confirm and make sure that you understand the policies of the class and what's expected. You do have unlimited attempts on it, so if you miss it, go back in and do it again. The schedule of due dates is just a exactly that, a schedule of due dates. This is also in the ICR. But you'll notice that it's going to show us every due date that we have and notice that all assignments are due at 11.59 p.m. Central Standard Time. Now all of our due dates are on Mondays. That's so that on the weekends, I know a lot of students like to do their work on the weekends and this gives me Monday to answer questions and get caught up on that. Um, you do notice that because of the Thanksgiving holiday where we're off a week that we do have a week where we have two chapters due. So if you know that that's going to be a hectic time for you, try to work ahead. And then otherwise everything is due on a Monday except for this optional comprehensive exam. Now the lessons folder is where I have all the really important information. So you'll notice that there's a folder for every chapter that we cover. And within this folder, you'll see the learning objectives. I remind you to read chapter one. It's really important that you read the textbook. I will talk about that more in the My Accounting Lab video, but super important that you read the textbook. And then you'll notice that there is both a handout and a link to YouTube. YouTube is where I've put all of the videos that I've recorded for the class. The handout is goes along with our videos. The idea is that you would print this out and as you're going through you will fill in the blanks. You notice it's kind of a fill in a blank sort of thing. I have you hand write the really important information. The reason I have you do this is because cognitive research, which is research about how people learn, tells us that if we hand write something we retain about 80% more of it than if we just read it, hear it, or see it. So I really want you to engage with the content. Look, accounting is hard enough. Listening to a video it makes it even harder. Harder. How easy is it for you to tune out? I mean, I've been talking for four and a half minutes here and you've probably already tuned me out. But by handwriting it, you're really engaging all of your senses and you retain a lot more of the information. And so my goal for you this semester is to learn a lot of accounting, but also I want you to learn to work smarter, not harder. And so handwriting it is a way to work smarter, not harder. Now I know some people are going to say, well, I'd rather just type it. And if you 
you are dysgraphic or have some other learning challenges where typing is better for you, then by all means, please type it. But most of us, the research has shown that if we handwrite it, we're going to retain about 50% more of it than if we just type it. Um, again, I ask you if you have ever this is not good, don't do this, please, but have you ever texted while driving? I'm going to venture to say most of us have. It's very bad, don't do that, okay? But by the same token, could you handwrite something and drive? Again, most of us probably couldn't do that. So handwriting, it really uses more of your brain. It really makes more of these synapses fire, more of these fingers grow. We'll talk about that more in the My Accounting Lab video. So again, I hope that you will print these out. If you do not have access to a printer, these are all available for you now. You can download all of them, send them to Staples or Office Depot or somewhere, have them all printed. Um, a lot of students like to get a three ring binder. They like to put their notes in there, put your homework in there as well so that when you work through your homework, you wanna work through it by hand and not just do it in my accounting lab. And then you can put all your homework in there as well. So super important. You'll also see the link to the YouTube channel. So all of the videos are here. My internet's not working right now. All of the videos are here in the YouTube channel and you can see that they're broken down. Learning objective one, two, three, and four for chapter one. I tried to keep the videos pretty short. Some of them are a little longer, but most of them are pretty short. Let's go back. Um, and then we have the discussion board. So the idea is that as you're working through listening to the videos, if you have a question, if it's something that you would normally, um, you know, raise your hand and ask a question, then you want to come post it here to the discussion board. So post this to the discussion board, post your questions. I will check the discussion boards every day and will respond to you, but also your classmates can check the discussion boards and maybe they can answer your question before I can. I also have a forum here for you to introduce yourself since we won't get to meet in person this semester. Tell us, you know, whatever information you're comfortable sharing. What's your name? What's your major? What are your plans once you leave TCC? What's your dream job? Anything like that. Now, I'm going to go over the My Accounting Lab in a separate video. Um, there is a link to Pearson's My Accounting Lab tech support should you have any problems. The Pearson Diagnostics link you probably won't use unless you are on the phone with Pearson tech support and they ask you to run a diagnostics report. But the rest of this I'll go over in a separate video. You also have a link to your grades. Now, this is the official grade book. There is a grade book in my accounting lab. That's not the grade book that you want to use. Those grades aren't weighted. You want to use the official TCC, my TCC Blackboard grade book. Now, your grades will come over from Blackboard automatically. They will not come over instantaneously. So what that means is you're going to finish your homework, you're going to come back into Blackboard, you're going to check Blackboard, and your grade will not be there. Don't freak out. TCC doesn't let them sync instantaneously. It can take anywhere from 6 to 48 hours for those grades to come over. So please don't panic about it. Since homework is due on Monday night at 11.59 p.m. on every Tuesday morning, I will go in on my side and do a grade refresh. That will pull all of the grades over. If at that time, so Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday, you don't see your grade, then you want to send me an email. I've only had that happen once. So most of the time, don't even worry about it. Your grades will come over. They're just going to be really slow about it. Um, and then down here at the info bottom is just some more information, advising and some scholarship information, um, course evaluation, a link to your email, eliminating barriers is some funding if you have some needs for that. So all of that is there as well.